Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of Lead Code Daily Challenge, um, top K frequent words. Um, so the problem says we get an array of strings words and we get an integer K. And what we want to do is return the K most frequent strings. So for example, um, for this list words, we have I occurring twice um, and love two times and coding once, right? And so the two ones that occur the most are um, I, which occurred twice, and love, right? So we return those. Um, one thing though to notice is that um, we want to return the answer sorted by frequency, right? So um, if you have one that occurs three times and one that occurs two times, you want the one that occurs three times first. So from highest to lowest, and we want to sort the words with the same frequency by their lexicographical order, right? So if you have two words that have the same occurrence count, like I and love here, we want to have them in the order of lexicographical order. So I is before L, so we return I first, right? Um, let's take a look at the second example where we have four. So we can see the, the here occurred here, here four times, uh, sunny occurred twice, is occurred three times, right? So we need the first and then is second. Um, but since we want four, we will return day which occurred only once, right? So that's the idea. Um, now let's see how we can solve it. Um, okay, so definitely like the most straightforward solution is we need to keep track of the number of occurrences of each word. Right, so we can use a counter a, in Python, a counter, or you could use a hash map where you just go through the words, and each time it occurs, we increment by one. So that's the first thing we need to do. And then from there, we can just sort the words using that count. So what does that mean? Let's take a look here. Um, so let me grab the example we have. So we have this as words, okay? So we want the occurrences. So we, ha we know that I occurs twice, Love occurs two times, lead code once, um, and we have k equal to two, by the way. Uh, lead code once and coding once, right? Um, so what do we need? We can just take the list of words, but unique words, right? We don't want repetitions, so we can take the list I, um, love, and coding. And just sort this, right? But sorted by what? What are the keys? So the problem says the keys need to be the frequency first, but then if the frequency is the same, we want to sort by lexicographical order. So what this tells us is we need in our key here, so the key in Python, we will get a lambda with the word as a parameter. Um, and with sorted in, in Python, if you are using another language, there is also a comparator in Java that you can do this with. We can provide the two things that we want in order, right? So the first thing we need is the count. And that will be in this occurrence map. So f how, how do we get the occurrence of a word? It's just occurrence W, right? As the key. But we want it sorted in order. If we just do this, it will be sorted in descending order. We want in ascending order, what we want is descending order, so we can just put minus so that we get a descending order. Okay, so occurrence of W. And then what's the second parameter we need? So the second parameter is the lexicographical order, so that if this is equal, uh, we will sort by words. So we just do W, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. And how many we want out of this sorted list? We just want the first two, right? So let's call this S. So we want to return the first two, but generally the first K, right? Um, so that's one way to do it. Um, the only thing to pay attention to is that we don't want to pass the entire list, right? We want to pass the only unique values because otherwise we'll get repetitions. So we can just pass in set words and sorted works with, this, with set as, as well. But if you want, you could also just use list convert it to a list, right? Um, so that's definitely one way to do it. So let's cut that up. But there is another way where you could use uh, periodic queue, right? And just 
for the priority queue enter this value here um, and then keep popping until k reaches zero and that will give you the same thing um, but let's use this um, set solution first so what do we need we need an occurrence map so that would be a collections dot count um, we can use definitely counter which is um, available in python where you could just do counter words but just for the sake of example here i would use i will use just a map so default dict with int and then we'll go through the words and just increment by one so this is exactly what counter does collection dot counter um, and then we will just use what we said here right this will give us a list of the this list sorted with unique values sorted by occurrence and w right and this is by the way an interesting pattern here where the key is not actually one of the immediate values of the list we are sorting it's using another data structure um, and so here we want to return just the first k ones so let's run this and let's submit okay so that passes now in terms of time complexity uh, this is o of n n being the number of words here it's sorted so o of n like n again n being the number of words um, so overall, that's the time we are using here. It's over and again. Okay. Uh, time. Now, in terms of space, we are using two things here. This map here or collection. And then this list here. So overall, it's over and a space. Um, yeah. So now I just want to show the priority queue solution. Um, so what we need is we need to first define a priority queue go through the words and the count right and go through the occurrences items and for this one just to show for the sake of this example to show another thing we can use counter right instead of the our own list um, and then we want to heap push for the priority queue we want to push the count we want it to be negative right um we want it to be negative because we want to sort in descending order and here the world okay and now what we want to do is keep popping until we get the first k ones right so while k bigger than zero and priority q just in case k is bigger than the length of the list um we want to do heap pop um heap q we want to pop this we don't care about the count be what matters is that when we pop we will get only the ones that have the highest count but we care about the world and so in our res we'll just append the world and we'll decrement k so that it reaches zero and then at the end we just return that result let's run this and we can submit okay so that passes as well um using priority queue um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for today's problem. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye